Hi there. Um, I explained on a previous video um, that it's possible to monitor multiple receive signals um, on the uh, FDM Duo. Um, you can monitor up to four uh, IF spectrums and check audio um, per channel. Um, I think when I demonstrated it, I actually had three because um, I was using my laptop screen and there just simply isn't enough resolution, enough screen space to monitor more than three. So um, I got my 27 inch monitor, which I don't actually use, uh, and set it up. Um, and what I've also done is selected the two channel option from the uh, FDM SW2 software. And you can see that when you do that and you select a wider bandwidth, the uh, the display backlight on the uh, FDM Duo changes to green. I'm not sure why, other than to remind you. But um, so now, of course, so in, in theory, um, it's possible to monitor eight reception signals simultaneously. And so that's what I've done. Now, even with a 27 inch monitor, um, there isn't quite enough space to fit everything in perfectly, but by resizing the various um, uh, boxes on the screen, you can actually do it. And so what I've done is um, I've got both channels up and running and I've got four IF spectrums uh, I'm monitoring uh, per channel. So this is really useful, particularly for medium wave DXing, because when I'm medium wave DXing, propagation is rarely very good. Um, and so you find yourself continually tuning up and down the medium wave band from around sort of 540 kilohertz to the end of the X band, you know, 1.7 megahertz. Uh, and you're just constantly looking for carriers and trying to figure out whether they've, um, uh, you know, whether they've increasing in strength or not, whether there's any audio, you know, is the modulation improving, etc. And so, you know, you're just literally tuning up and down all the time. Um, so with this, you can effectively plug in uh, four frequencies um, per channel so you know you can monitor eight uh, channels uh, simultaneously and then just keep checking audio which is really useful so um, I'll briefly demonstrate it um, so here's the screen and it looks a bit of a mess but um, at the moment so I have basically this area here is channel one um, and these are the IF spectrums. And so these are the receivers. So receiver one is the audio we're listening to now. Go to receiver two, uh, which is, well, a very little audio on that signal now. Receiver three, and receiver four. Uh, and so these are the IF spectrums for those four channels. So if I shut the, audio down on that and go to channel two, open the audio on that channel. And so go to receiver one, which I think is Voice of America. Um, receiver two, receiver three, and receiver four. So there you have it. It's pretty busy, but with a monitor with a good resolution it is actually possible to set this thing up and actually record uh, or monitor eight receive signals simultaneously and uh, I thought it would be worth just at least demonstrating that it can be done and you know this is how you do it um, as I said it's not easy um, to uh, to set it all up on the screen takes a bit of time, um, but um, but it's worth it. And as I said, I think for medium wave DXing, it's, it could be really useful. So, for example, if you were just wanting to monitor the X band, you could monitor from sixteen ten, you know, um, Caribbean beacon um, upwards and eight signals uh, monitored at the same time. You know, would uh, have most bases covered on the uh, on the X band, uh, or alternatively. You know, you could um, monitor, you know, 1610, 1620, Cuba, 1660, um, and then some, perhaps some North American channels um, a bit lower down the medium wave spectrum. But anyway, so um, that's what it looks like. Uh, and as I can, you can see that, I can't really see that very well because it's so bright. 
the uh, screen, but yeah, it's now a, a shade of green. But uh, anyway, I hope you found that useful, and um, any questions, let me know. Thanks.